What's up everyone? Welcome back to another edition of The Driving Professor. For those of you who are actually new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Definitely sharing is caring. When you share it, the universe definitely gives back to you. All right, so this video today is how to drive safely in the snow and uh, basically like inclement weather right here. So um, these strategies over here will actually keep you from actually getting into an accident, which is certainly something that we actually do not want. Uh, it's too cold out here for this, man, to actually get stuck and have to be waiting for police and having your car immobilized or anything like that. All right, so let's get right into it. So the first thing is, is actually just leaving, um, giving yourself plenty of time to uh, where you actually have to go. So that's the one of the main things right there. Give yourself plenty of time. Never be in a hurry. Uh, second thing, make sure your tires are actually good. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's definitely worth it to spend the four or five hundred dollars, or uh, depending on your uh, the vehicle, uh, on 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 really good tires. So third thing is actually keep your spacing. You know, like you see these guys right in front of me. These guys are actually uh, a car length apart. You actually just want to be back here. And so if anything does happen, this gives you plenty of time to actually adjust. Fourth thing is actually leave yourself an out. So in this type of weather, there's, 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 uh, these roads haven't been plowed yet or they've been plowed somewhat. You know, if, if I'm not gonna be able to bring the car to a complete stop, so I have an out. So when I say leave yourself an out, you have, I have the left side here and I have my right side there. Make sure you look for any kind of obstructions there. Um, so always keep that in your mind. And uh, this was a, the, I, f I forgot what number I was actually on. I'm just doing, I, I didn't plan on even doing this video today. So the next thing is actually just keeping both hands on the wheel, uh, both hands on the wheel. Don't try to one hand it. I, mean, I guess you could if you have the proper space in there, but if you're just brand new at this, you're just starting out, this is pretty much what this channel's geared towards. Definitely keep one, uh, both hands on the wheel. The next thing is when you make a lane change, don't make an abrupt lane change. You know, count seven, five to seven seconds like I'm doing right now. One, two, three, four, five. So if you make quick lane changes, uh, you can slide on some ice and you can actually probably lose control of your car. If you feel the car actually sliding, let go of the, uh, uh, of the accelerator, don't panic. And I think the next thing, next thing, next thing, hold on man, something something else. Oh yeah, definitely check your mirrors every three to five seconds. Uh, you should know who's behind you. And make sure the, you know, like, like I said, they, if they start to the tailgate, uh, try to get over safely if you can and let them go. When you're in the city streets, uh, you definitely have to look out for uh, pedestrians. A lot of times, sometimes the snow is really deep. They walk in the streets. Uh, definitely look 12 to 15 seconds ahead. Try to pinpoint any kind of pedestrians. And try to move three to four feet away from them. Just drive slowly. Take your time. Uh, make sure they don't fall around your vehicle. So when you actually, for this instance over here, I'm gonna make this turn. Uh, make your turn two to uh, three to five miles an hour. Uh, don't give it any gas or anything like that because you can actually lose control of the vehicle and that's not something you wanna do. You wanna pretty much cover your brake when you actually make, uh, make the turns. Another thing is when you're in the city streets, people are actually are, um, are going to be stuck getting out of, uh, trying to get out of parking spaces and uh, they may accidentally hit the gas and shoot out there and they're not really paying attention. So uh, definitely, definitely look out for that. So just give you guys an example. So we see these pedestrians there. They're actually, uh, we wanna make eye contact with them and just make sure that they're actually not moving. And if they do move, let's look behind us 
and make sure they're not falling under the car. The same thing, and this goes out for my truckers too over here, man. You truck drivers, uh, the bus drivers out there. Um, these rules actually pertain to you too. The same thing, make the turns very slowly. Look out for pedestrians. Walking in the street. Um, also actually look out for uh, cars. Uh, sometimes cars actually can slide. Uh, I see a lot of that actually happening, happen, um, happening, happening, <laughs> sometimes here. So just definitely look out for that type of stuff there. Uh, always just keep your distance. Uh, try to keep three to four car lengths away if you can. Just be disciplined. Don't, you know, don't ever, ever, ever be in a hurry because uh, you definitely can get into an accident. It's, it's certainly not worth it. Uh, you'd rather be four to five minutes late than hours late or or uh, never getting there at all. All right, so when, when coming on when coming on the actual hills here, going up the hill, make sure you have enough momentum to actually get up the hill. Um, right now, I'm trying to use this area to demonstrate, but it looks like people are having an issue actually getting up this particular hill here. Um, so we'll see if we can try to execute this. Uh, you know, this Jeep will definitely be able to get up the hill here, but um, uh, something with a front wheel drive or rear wheel drive would be really, really hard. So just that you have to make sure that the actual spacing is there. And if it's not, look out for other vehicles that actually might slide and not be able to uh, make it up there. So, and it's the same thing coming down the hill, look 12 to 15 seconds. Definitely try to pre-anticipate that. Uh, cover your brakes. So we have a car sliding up there. Trying to get up the hill. So let's see. Let's, let's, let's all right. So let's do this. Let's keep our spacing. Cause I don't know if this Fiat's going is going to be able to make it. Let's see if we can make it. Just keep the spacing. I should be a little bit back more. Maybe a car length or two, just in case he can't make it. Oh, the Fiat actually made it. Wow. Did have a car actually slide there so that happens sometimes cars slide and they can lose control so you definitely want to actually keep your distance there all right so we're gonna wrap this up over here if you like the video please comment subscribe like it share it let's definitely share some lives let's save some lives out here <laughs> let's definitely save some lives out here and uh Thanks. Thank you everyone for watching.